everyone welcome back to another interesting session of english literature today i wish to discuss one of the poems in the gce ordinary level anthology and can you guess the humorous poems in your anthology hope you got it upside down by alexandra kushner translated by margaret wetin well now i need you to pay attention to some details of this poet alexander kushner was born in leningrad into a russian jewish family after graduating from herzen university he taught russian literature for a period of 5 years what else do you know about alexandra kushner let me tell some more facts about alexander kushner after that he became a full time writer and poet and published about 15 collections of his poetry and two books of his essays remember lot of critics have appreciated him as one of the best lyrical poets in the 20th century upside down what do you know what can you guess upside down I need you to focus on to the poem straight. Upside down. Once they are lived and upside down. Who was the talk of all the town? If he was told to turn to right, he turned to left out of spite. Now, when you look at this first stanza. you can see once they are lived an upside down so this is a kind of a narration and this particular upside down seems to be the name of that particular person once they are lived an upside down and that person was the talk of all the town what do you mean by that everybody talked about him if he was told to turn to right he turned to left out of spite you can understand he seems to be a deviant someone who doesn't follow the norms accepted norms and if you look at this stanza the first stanza you can see the rhyming couplets down town very simple my dear learners please refer to the next stanza the next stanza says if he went sailing in a boat no one could make him understand why he seemed to be a float and what had happened to the land yes my dear learners can you see how simple the words are when you look at the rhyming words you can see can you find the rhyming words in that second stanza boat a float understand land and we'll discuss further the same second stanza if he went sailing in a boat there is a condition and no one could make him understand he did not realize something what is it he could not understand why he seemed to be a float why he was on water and what had happened to the land can you imagine the plight of this person 
Well, my dear learners, let us look at the next stanza. He read his letters back side 4 and wrote his letters back side 4. So, if a ton was to be read, he read it not the dunder head. Well, if you go through the first two lines in this stanza, it is clear the rhyme in couplets backside for it is rhymed. And can you find another rhyme in couplets? Red head. And you will get to know more about this person. Can you remember the name of the person? Upside down. Do you know his actions? He read his letters backside for. That means from backside to front. What is the accepted way? How do we read? We read from front to back. When you take a book, left to right. And write in. It is absurd, my dear learners. This particular upside down wrote his letters back side 4. He was a deviant. He had violated the accepted norms. He used to write from right to left. Uh, important if you pay attention to this word ton. It is it within inverted commas. If a ton was to be read, it is humorous. Do not you feel laughing? Do not you feel that it is a, do not you feel that it is a joke? Ton, he said not. And the poet had used dunderhead. So, this is to insult. So, if a ton was to be read, he read it not. Can you ever imagine what happens to the meaning? How can a person convey the proper meaning if they change the order? Can you see the pathetic situation? The people, those who read, the people, those who understand, you can see ton and not are two completely different words. It is absurd. The, according to the poet, this upside down, according to the poet, this upside down is labeled as the dunderhead, stupid fellow, foolish fellow. Well, shall we move to the next stanza? All his life, he was afraid to cross a bridge. He would always wait. Unless the water was too deep or the embankment was too steep. Now you get to know more about this upside down. All his life, he was frightened to cross a bridge. And do you know what he did in order to cross a bridge? He would always wade. That means, he walked in the water. He did not cross the bridge. There, there is a nice saying, a proverb. You would have heard Panditheata Edandi Annabe. So, people, those who know a lot is mentioned here, those who know and those who cannot practically use their knowledge. Some people, they know their stuff, but they cannot practically use their knowledge. You can nicely identify that. Well, my dear students, shall we move to the next? Sansa. He went into a restaurant. The writer said, what do you want? He said,
said, I would like a pair of socks with clocks on them and in a box. Yes, my dear student, when he went to a restaurant, when the waiter asked something, will that be your answer? Upside down has responded in a different way. When the waiter asked or inquired, what do you want? Why do you go to a restaurant? What do you get in a restaurant? You get food. So, do you buy pair of socks? And this upside down says, I would like a pair of socks with clocks on them and in a box. Really funny. These lines evoke humor. So, you can see the poet had carefully chosen words. His diction, the selection of words are very strong to give the central theme. Well, let us focus on to the next stanza. The circus came to town one day. Of course, he went without delay. And everyone said, upside down was funnier than the circus clown. Yes, I am going to give you a question. Can you find the rhyming couplets in this? Very good. Day, delay, down, cloud. You can see a simple rhyming scheme throughout the poem. And if you pay more attention to the lines, you will see there was a very important thing. The circus came to town one day. And what happened? When the circus came, upside down went without delay. He was not late. And what were the comments of the audience? Everyone said, upside down was funnier than the circus clown. You know, the circus clown is there to make other people happy. Circus clown directs other people to have fun. He does lot of tricks on stage to make other people laugh. That is why people go to see certain circuses. But here, this is very absurd. This particular upside down was funnier than the circus clown. Did you see the point? Can you understand? Upside down was totally different. Yes, my dear learners, you will get to know more points about this special character. Please pay attention to the next stanza. Just yesterday, the postman brought a letter to him from his aunt. Shall I read it? Perhaps I ought. Perhaps I will. Perhaps I can't. Can you understand? It is so simple. The narrator says, yesterday, a past incident, the postman brought a letter to him from his aunt. What were the reactions? Upside down said, Shall I read it? That means it shows. You can see his interest, his motivation to read it. Shall I read? He wanted to read. Perhaps I ought. Perhaps I will. He is trying. After trying, what did he say? What does he say? Perhaps I can't. Now, you can see he is trying to do certain actions. But he finds that he cannot. 
please keep those lines in your mind. And you can see the simple rhyming patterns and the dialogue form. This is also another technique used to bring the theme in this poem effectively. Well, now you are going to look at the last stanza. He eyed it this way, eyed it that. Then he stuck it in his hat. His auntie wrote, Dearest boy, All you do is to annoy. Wearing flannels when it's hot. Going naked when it's not. You must behave as others do. If they are to have respect for you by Alexander Kushner. Now you can see he eyed it this way, eyed it that. What? The letter. He tried to read, he could not read. Then what was his action? Then he stuck it in his hat. He was wearing a hat, he stuck that. His auntie wrote, Dearest boy, all you do is to annoy. What do you mean by annoy? To make somebody angry. Now you will get to know about his actions. Wearing flannels when it's hot. Can you ever imagine wearing warm clothes when it is hot? It's not the accepted behavior. That is okay. My Lord, next line you will see. Going naked when it's not. What do you mean by this line? Do we accept such actions? Going without clothes when it's not accepted? Then, auntie's advice you can see. You must behave as others do. Why? Aunt explains through this aunt, the poet Alexander Kushner wants to give a clear message. The poet conveys his central theme through these lines. You must behave as others do if they are to have respect for you. Well, my dear learners, I hope now you can understand the particular poem and shall we do an activity. Upside down is a humorous poem. In order to get a clear understanding, it's better if you try some activities. Hope you are ready with your anthology and a piece of paper. First activity fill in the blanks with suitable words or phrases given in the poem. Are you ready my dear learners? First one, maybe the nickname given to the funny person by others who laughed at his unusual behavior upside down in the opposite way. Can you find the answer? My dear learners, I will be discussing the answers also with the questions that will save time for us to discuss more questions. Well done. Hope you got it correct. Upside down is the answer. Now you are going to find a word, suitable word from the poem for anger. Fight. Very good. The answer. The spite matches with the word anger. Next word for you is floating. Can you find? Very good. A float. Fourth question. Back to front side. 
did you find? Backside 4 is the answer. Well, the fifth one, how to measure a large weight, ton. Sixth question for you is, foolish or stupid person? Can you remember? Very good, dunderhead. Dunderhead refers to foolish or stupid person. Go over a bridge to the other side. Go over a bridge to the other side is cross a bridge. How do you call walk through water? Walk through water is wade. Good, I hope you got everything correct. We will move on to some more words. If not or otherwise. Can you find? Did you find? Unless. Correct. Tenth question. Artificially build steep slope. Embankment. Please be familiar with this word embankment. Embankment refers to an artificially built steep slope. Sharp. What do you mean by sharp? Good. Steep. This is very easy. The twelfth one. A cafe or a place where people go to buy food. Restaurant. Fixed or put. Stuck. You get the word stuck in the poem and that refers to fixed or put. Fourteenth question is also very important. Perhaps maybe he should read the letter. He is not sure if he has to read the letter. Can you find the phrase? Good. Perhaps I ought. Perhaps I ought. See the language he has used. Conversational language. That is why it is used as it is in the poem. He judged, thought. He judged or thought. If he should read the letter, can you find the relevant phrase? He eyed this way is the answer. Good. Another important thing, you can see the screen. Material like cotton or polyester used to make clothes. Material like cotton or polyester used to make clothes. You call them flannels. And you can see the picture of a cloth made of flannel. The material is flannel. Well, moving on to the screen, you can see another question. This is little different. My dear learners, find the suitable line to suit the given images. Hope you can find quickly. Hope you got this answer. You can see, if he went sailing in a boat. Well, now we can discuss a few questions. What does the title reveal about the person's behavior? By now, you have understood the poem clearly and can you give some examples to highlight or uh, to explain this title? The title, what is the title? Upside down. The title reveals so many things about this person. The name also upside down. Title is also upside down. 
what do you mean by all this? So, the title suggests or highlights or explains that he is totally an abnormal person. Normal people won't act that way. So, you will get to know he is an abnormal person. Another important fact is it gives the implication that he may be a social misfit. Did you understand that? A social misfit is somebody who is not respected by the society. He is not fit for the society because he does the other way around. He is a deviant. Therefore, you will get to know about this upside down, the title, title explains his abnormal behavior and how he is not fit to be in the particular society. Well, I am going to give you another question. What types of actions of upside down are described in the poem. By now, you can clearly recall all his actions, but if you mention all these actions according to the question, you will get to know lot of facts. Remember, his actions describes many of his funny actions create humor. His actions evoke humor, laughter. That is why we call this poem is a humorous poem. Further, you got to know he does the direct opposite of what he is asked to do. Please remember he does not follow the instruction. He does the direct opposite of what he is asked to do. Another point, he does not know the land is not moving with them when they sail in a boat. Can you understand that point? He does not know that the land is not moving when they sail in a boat. Another fact you have got to know, he is afraid to cross a bridge. The funniest thing is he goes to a restaurant to buy a pair of socks. What else? He does not directly read the letter sent by his aunt. He was trying to read, but his trials were all abnormal, not accepted way. He does not directly read the letter sent by his aunt. I need you to pay attention to that point. The narrator says, the postman has brought a letter which the aunt has sent to upside down. He has not read the letter instantly. Instead, he has thought if he should read it or is it necessary to read the letter. And you will get to know, he had his doubts about reading the letter. And he thought that he could not read it. Therefore, he just had made a glance at the letter and he did not want to read it so soon. That is why he put it under the hat he was wearing. Another important point you will get to know, he did not read or write. You can understand both. He did not read or write the letters in a document in the accepted order. And 
always did it in the wrong direction from right right to left not from left to right that is why he could not read the word ton because he read the word ton as not the word ton he read as not because he did not know how to read accepted way of reading is reading from left to right if everybody is going to read from right to left can they communicate ideas clearly that is why narrator calls him a dunderhead or a foolish stupid person that gives an idea or it implies upside down he is not a learned one he is not an educated one also you will get to know background points when you look into the details of these phrases and the words written in the poem and you will get to know he says during his lifetime he never liked to cross a bridge as he feared that action so much he was scared to cross a bridge that is also another action he was frightened to cross the bridge another point when he went to a restaurant he did not know what he could ask for upside down didn't know what to ask when he went to a restaurant so instead of asking whatever the stuff that he needs at a restaurant he asked for a pair of socks with clocks printed on them his actions are not accepted at all can you see this incident when he went to a restaurant he asked a pair of socks with clocks printed on them food to put inside a box his behavior was different he was a deviant and after all you will get to know upside down did all his actions to make others angry do you think other people will tolerate such actions no he had worn he had worn clothes made of flannel in hot weather that is also not accepted but maybe that upside down can bear that but can we ever bear aunt could not bear his last action he went naked when it's not well i need you to pay attention to another important question the writer suggests that he is funny in his behavior in addition he says the behavior is abnormal the writer suggests that he is funny in his behavior in addition he says the behavior is abnormal can you support that statement when somebody is funny in behavior and if that person's behavior is abnormal you will get to know that person doesn't have common sense due to lack of common sense that might happen and he doesn't he has not possessed or he has not acquired he has not acquired the necessary knowledge about everyday things 
very important you can understand the poet wants to convey through this funny behavior he draws the readers attention to people those who don't have common sense and knowledge about normal things in life another important point is this upside do, this upside down doesn't live according to the accepted norms of the society so through this funny behavior the writer wanted to emphasize his common sense which is lacking in him and his knowledge the writer the poet wanted to convey a very important message through this funny behavior the poet wanted to convey that this upside down doesn't have common sense and at the same time he has not acquired the necessary knowledge to live in the society to do normal things in everyday life further his way of living is violating the accepted norms of the society that fact is also highlighted in this poem by the writer i think you can answer this question as well what does the aunt try to explain or communicate to her nephew can you guess the answer you can see the aunt tries to advise him to be normal very clearly you can see aunt's message is for this upside down to be normal and to use his common sense and be familiar with real life situation the poet wants to emphasize this message to the reader as students those who learn literature don't you value this aunt's advice don't you think that is relevant for all of us and this is relevant for everybody in this world that is to be normal and to use common sense to be familiar with real life situations through this funny character upside down the poet clearly gives a very important message to the world and another important point you can see this aunt wants this nephew to follow the socially accepted behavior and norms to be a respectable person therefore my dear learners please try to understand or find out the accepted norms and behavior in your society in our society we all live in a civilized society in a civilized society our behavior is monitored thousand eyes are looking at you but you look at the world with only two eyes remember this message therefore aunt's advice is truly applicable for our lives also this aunt instructs or advises the particular nephew to follow the socially accepted behavior and the norms and to gain respect therefore my dear students you also must know to respect the particular accepted behavior in the society then only you will be recognized you will be respected well let me 
give you another question. Describe the funny behavioral patterns of upside down which arouse humor. Can you find answers and the screen also will help you to gather your answers? Funny behavioral patterns of upside down and these patterns of behavior evoke humor, arouse humor, create humor. So, you can see very first behavioral patterns. He turns to left when he is asked to turn to right. That gives you a deep meaning. Sometimes lot of students, lot of people do the opposite when they are asked to do. So, you must think here through this upside down. It creates humor, but through that it gives you, the poet gives you a clear message and expressions like perhaps I will, perhaps I will. That is also, that arouse creates humor. Now you are going to do another important question. Find out the literary devices used in the following phrases or lines. The first one I need you to pay attention is who was the talk of all the town? Remember, you can remember this phrase who was the talk of all the town? What are you going to find? The literary device. Can you find? Well, hope you got it correct. As students in grade 11, you are familiar with this term. Figurative use of language you can see. Actually, who was the talk of all the town? If you get the surface meaning, you will see just merely some words. But there is very deep meaning embedded in these words. So, through these words, it gives you a, a deeper meaning. You will get to know it is metaphorically used. Who was the talk of all the town refers to a special person and you will get to know about the background of the person. You will get more information about this person. So, let us move on to the next question. And everyone said upside down was funnier than the circus clown. Did you find the literary device? Can you mention? Shall we check your answers? Hyperbole. Do you know what a hyperbole is? That is to exaggerate. Hyperbole is to exaggerate. Everyone said upside down was funnier than the circus clown. Actually, it is an exaggeration. So, the literary device here the poet has used is hyperbole. Shall we move on to another question? You are going to find the literary device in the third question. He eyed it this way, he eyed it that. Hope you can easily find. What is the literary device? Repetition of the phrase eyed it. You can see eyed is repeated. So, this repetition gives more meaning to the particular actions of this upside down that clearly gives an insight for the reader to get a clear picture. So, the literary device given here is the repetition of the phrase eyed it. You get eyed it, 
not only one id id it is repeated well moving on to the next question it's a bit different but i hope you can manage describe the implied meaning of the following the dunder head dunder head is a metaphor the dunder head here what is a metaphor it is a comparison it's not a direct comparison metaphor is not a direct comparison simile of course you use either as or like but here metaphor the dunder head is a metaphor moving on to this next slide you can see the question describe the implied meaning of the following if he was told to turn to right he turned to left out of spite implied meaning refers to the meaning that you get to know by reading this what does it highlight what do these lines highlight very good i hope you can write a better answer the behavior of upside down was funny and he always did the opposite of what he was expected to do so the implied meaning refers to funny behavior of this person it evokes humor it creates humor and because of that these lines implied the behavior these lines highlight humor these lines highlight humor well i need you to focus on to the themes when you look at this poem analytically throughout the poem you will get to know lot of humor one of the themes that we can mention here is an absurd poem the poem is an absurd poem making fun of a person who is mixed up another theme that you can see here is exaggerated incredible behavior if you look at this point social misfits are laughed at if people violate or become deviant of the accepted norms of the society or if they become a center of attraction or attention we call them zynosha those are social misfits and those social misfits are laughed at you can clearly identify that thing the point is social misfits are not respected they are laughed at another point is people have to conform to socially accepted norms another important fact is people should have closeness to everyday life to avoid being funny or stupid very clearly you can understand people should be very close to their everyday activities and must follow the accepted norms in order to avoid being funny or stupid well i need your attention on to another important question how effectively does the writer use the literary features or techniques to convey the theme or the themes by now you got to know some themes not one theme however how effective were the literary features or the techniques used 
by the poet. We are going to discuss. Right. If you look at the title, the title itself is used as a metaphor and upside down is the title that conveys the funny nature of this particular person. Another technique is storytelling method. Thank you, yeah. Another important technique is storytelling method and metaphor is used. Storytelling method and metaphor are used in the first two lines. The first two lines suggest how he became the center of attraction of the town. You can see another literary technique is humor. It implies the funny nature of upside down and communicates to the readers what people should avoid doing. Therefore, remember humor is another important technique used by the poet. You can see irony is also as a technique and very ironical, very sarcastic because this irony suggests the fate of this stupid person who becomes funny. Do not you feel sorry for this stupid person who makes errors? So, that is irony. The technique here is irony. You are familiar with this technique exaggeration or the hyperbole. So, you will get to know this exaggeration is used to create an exaggerated picture of this funny person. Visual imagery is also another powerful technique and it en enables to create a clear picture of his behavioral pattern. Well, if you look at the screen is upside down an appropriate title for the poem. Discuss. Can you find a proper answer now? Actually, I am going to help you with few facts. The title introduces a funny person who seems to be abnormal and does the direct opposite of what he is expected to do. Further, you can see a description of the behavioral patterns of upside down to support this title because he does direct opposite of what he is asked to do. You can find more examples. Well, you can clearly see the aunt's message. Aunt wants to convey a very important message through the aunt, the poet wants to convey a very clear message to the society behave in the normal way like others in the society in order to be accepted by the society to get respect from them. The last two lines in the poem, the poet had mentioned, you must behave as others do if they are to have respect for you. Therefore, my dear learners, I hope you have realized the clear message given by the poet in the poem upside down. I hope that you have understood this poem, but if you have missed anything, do not worry. Simply you can log on to channel NIE on YouTube and do your reference. Until we meet you again, stay safe, stay blessed, take care, goodbye.